Guys, let's see what's the surge when the refrigerator, uh, full-size refrigerator, um, kick in. Yeah, right now the freezer is running, it's taking only 2 amps. Check this out. You ready to see this when the surge start? Let's go. Check this out. Go. You catch that? It's almost 180 amps. 170, 150. You can play that again in a slow motion and see. And now we are sitting at uh, 7 amps. See how high that inverter can surge? Just the compressor kicks, kicking in or kicks in. And uh, look at that. It took a lot of amps. So this is how you go about choosing an inverter for your off-grid solar system that can able to surge higher and it can able to uh, give you the right power when you need it at a start. Compressor, heaters, and all, um, whatever you name them. All right, guys, I just want to give you a live update here. I already hooked up the uh, inverter after the battery is already charged. So I already hook up the loads on it and see I have the freezer and refrigerator running. I've never seen a 12 volt that is more efficient like this guy. And look at that. I've seen some 12 volt back in the day or when I was uh, uh, messing around with the inverters. You can see the amps that is going to draw is way too much. But look at these guys only pull about 7 amps running a family size refrigerator and a freezer. You guys have seen on my videos. So let's check the uh, inverter. No noise, no fans running, nothing. Very quiet. As you guys are seeing the back here, it's just pulsing the light. You see it blinking. It's telling you it's active and it's, it's working. And I just showed you the communication um, remote over there. And the battery bank is still sitting here. And I want to see what this system can do because I, I just ran the, uh, the, the, my house freezer and refrigerator and to see how long this battery is going to last me. As you can see here, no fans running. Everything is uh, quiet. Uh, a little bit warm here. And, um, that's the battery bank. That's going to go into that Ryobi box. I'm going to be doing my 12 volt um, ba battery uh, bank here. A portable system. So you see the Ryobi. I got a, a midnight classic hook up to the system here. But there's no sun and it's a night time. So we're hoping that we just um, had a, a, a snowstorm. And we're hoping for better days here. Approximately Monday. Um, we're going to be, uh, having sun, but, uh, I think the system is doing pretty well. So I just want to energize the batteries a little bit and see how I can drain them down and recharge them again. Okay. So, uh, approximately, um, eight, it's not even a eight, eight volt pump cell, pump battery. So that gives us 16 here because the inverter input, um, you cannot go too much higher, but uh, it's pretty good for just um, a 12 volt. Let's check the uh, specs. So I've shown you earlier, um, the specifications here is the 2019. I think that's why it's really efficient because um, all the firmware, all the la latest stuff in, in the inverter and uh, it seems to work. Uh, pretty quiet and uh, very efficient. So if you can see here the input Right there 16.8 so almost 17 so the inverter cap itself when you charge go all the way to uh, 16 no 15.9 the inverter tend to kick kick back or kick off or um, It's gonna go into a fault mode it doesn't mean the inverter is bad, but um, it just protects itself. That's really cool. So, 
Um, it doesn't let you get to um, this 17 as it's saying right here. But if you look at that, look at the, the voltage that it's going to give you out here. DC output from the charger. From the charger to the batteries, it gives you 16 16.5 so we uh, we are at 15.9 so it protects itself so these are the kind of things you have to look for when you buy an inverter or you want to do uh, off-grid solar systems check your inputs and check your output and check your charging all this stuff and um, how much load you can take in the surge okay this guy can search big time. It's a 12 volt, 2000 watts. But I want to share with you guys, you know, this is for 12 volt um, DIYers. I know I've been doing 48 volt, 12 volt, uh, 24 volt. So I'm working with the 12 volt guys to so make sure that they, do, they are not left behind or left out. But guys, this is a 30 amp. You can see a 30 amp input. So you can bring two 30 amps. In because I saw leg one leg two out on this but it doesn't have the uh, 240 volts so you can able to hook up uh, um, all your loads into um, the um, the AC load center looks like a two legs but it's only a 120 okay in here it has two output AC output and two um, AC input, but is bridged with um, um, a jumper like this black one. So this is a brand new inverter. I just want to share with you guys. I hope everything um, uh, you guys satisfy with all the uh, reviews I've been doing and all the videos. And uh, I'll prove it to you and see the freezer and the refrigerator running. For those of you who have been following me, you guys seen my uh, freezer. It's a very uh, efficient uh, uh, freezer here. And um, it, it works 24-7 on solar. And you can see the light is kind of like blinking because of the camera is um, one that um, doing that. But it's set with this kind of um, settings here. Okay. And it's running. You can just hear it in the background. I wish you can um this is the house uh, uh refrigerator and you guys can see all the way it has all the stuff there whole bunch of stuff running so you guys can see everything is just running um good and no problems and uh what i'm gonna do i have to do a load test with this one trying to load partial of my house and getting the the, um, um, the water dispenser like I always do or maybe trying to tea kettle the tea kettle is uh, 1500 watts so these are 2000 watts we want to see the surge on this thing how it can handle the loads and we can have the water dispenser and uh, which has um, a compressor for uh, for cooling system and a hot water which has a heater on it so we can have to test those two simultaneously since it's a 2000 watts and we cannot go more than that to push it to to give us all the stuff but we can see are we going to do um efficiency test we're going to be doing a low test and make sure everything works well and thanks for watching live here at the jw solar usa i love you guys and stay tuned magna sign inverters very good inverters it's a bulletproof, die-hard machine. So I recommend them big time. So Magnum, uh, you are welcome in my house and uh, you already proved yourself with the 24 volts. You guys check it out. I'm going to be bringing a dual system soon. Good morning and good afternoon. Good evening to all my viewers around the world. Uh, some of you guys in the morning, some of you guys in the evening and afternoon. I just want to show you this what's happening. There's a lot of snow accumulating and uh, we've been having all this kind of stuff guys take a look what's going on and look at the snow on the roof all covered a bunch of it on the ground see that and uh, 
you can't expect anything and it's just snow covered so I just want to show you how the system is running or how the system has been running since last night we went into the charge which are the batteries and and the system is uh, doing a um, tremendous job for a good job here and uh, I decided to give you a heads up and now everything is running and stay tuned for more to come live on this channel see how much these batteries are holding up into the 12 volt configuration and how we're gonna um, uh, utilize them in the time to come stay tuned like and subscribe live from Minnesota GW Solo USA love you guys all back in guys and you see how much uh, power left from yesterday we're running the system and uh, right now I can hear only the freezer is running right now and the fridge is still resting so yesterday we saw um, a draw of minus seven amps from the battery you can see um, I can hear the solar the charge controller midnight classic is clicking clicking and uh, it's coming in and out because the snow is uh, already covered on the panel and we don't have any power coming in so yeah stay tuned for this test all right guys the charge controller just woke up again and see on this I have just little um, panels uh, set up there for that just to see how everything goes um, two little um, uh, I think it's an 80 watt I have two of them and uh, no about three of them there so I just wired them in series and you guys can see the power that's coming in and um let's see what's the uh the open circuit yeah the voc is a 62.8 volt i wired them in series okay uh, i saw almost like 60 something to 70 volt very close 70. so that's what it is and uh they still making a little power even though the panels are covered with snow and yeah, I just want to give you updates and uh, stay tuned for this 12 volt um, testing and see how everything is going and um, now it's going to sleep again see that it just went back to sleep the batteries are here still doing good and um, if you guys are curious and this is what is happening here with all my um, budget wiring i use for the balancing and all that stuff and you guys seen what i did or what i've done and just to <clears throat> see you can work things out this way but i'm not record i'm not recommend you doing this for pulling a lot of loads or something this is just for budget if you have to do it you gotta do what you gotta do it's on you but uh i'm just showing different kind of things you can able to do uh, if you're just watching this video, you came across this video, these are uh, 10 gauge uh, uh, single string uh, Romax cable I got for my 240, which is uh, three wires and what at ground. And those are the wires I use. That's why I end up leaving this side so that people can able to see. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Yeah, it's so a number 10. They're thick, beefy wires. So I hope um, you guys can be able to understand what I'm doing here. I got a log, big log here, and uh, to put a wire because the other side doesn't have a thing. So guys, this is what it is, and this is what it is. I hope you like and subscribe and share. And here is the Magnum inverter. This is the uh, 2012 2000 watt, 12 volt and uh 2019 very efficient hope you like this setup and we'll see how this thing gonna go for the rest of the day live from minnesota jw solo usa bye for now